podcast. Um, just to give you a good background, mm. I was born uh, in Everton. Okay. Yeah, around the uh, Sibuki. Mm. Yeah. That's when I was born in 1968. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 1968. Just I want to give this background before I talk about any other things, because then if we have this, this background, mm. it make life much more easier, even for, for the viewers and the listeners to understand the, this background, okay. even to understand what I'm going to talk about. Mm. Uh, my mother, you know, whenever I talk about my life, I have to talk about my mother. Mm. My mother came from Lesotho, and then like any other young girl or young boy, they would leave their country and go to Johannesburg, mm. look for a job. So my mother went to Everton, uh, looking for a job. Then she was a domestic worker. Okay. But her parents had already left before. They went to, to Johannesburg, also for the same reason. The, the same reason why people in the, in the, the so-called uh, Bantu stands or what we now call provinces would leave their places and go to Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. so, they so she joined their parents in, uh, in, in Everton. But my grandparents did not have a, like a steady house. You see that, you understand that. So they were renting a place. So for them to survive there, they needed to have they had a shibin. Actually, that very shibin in, in Everton, I, I came out of that shibin myself. Mm -hmm. I'll give you what happened. My, this I heard from my father okay. when my mother was there. Uh, my father was a, a guy, you know, this uh, Amachita Seka Siobon. Mm -hmm. So she te he tells me that he saw my mother. Pagula Shivin Apa Beselako. He told my mother, So what to that the Oti? And I'm born in Dana, Osikal Sodis Lale, you know, and no feed to Chaganja, you see. Born no feed, and then I guess I want to just a cast. Yes, yes. Put it and then. So saying, Gainilly, and also, my mother then became pregnant. See, my original name is actually Ditago. Okay. In Susudi, it means an abandoned house. Mm -hmm. So I was born in that shibin. It was a, that shibin house was an abandoned house. Mm. So my, my grandparents were using it as a shibin. Shibin. Okay. So I was born there. But a few, I think two, three, uh, four months after my birth, I got very sick, mm -hmm. very sickly. That the friends. To my mother, asked my mother to no. I tell them that I'm mm. pimsel a car. I say, I you fell up higher because I think I I hear that I was too sick. Mm -hmm. So my mother then took me to her home in Lesotho when I was four months to the to the relatives there. So she then left me in Lesotho and came back to Johannesburg to work. Okay. But the, she tells me that when she went the end of the year, she found me. A very big guy. Okay. Yeah. Because you see, by then you couldn't keep in touch to say, how's the child doing and everything else. Mm -hmm. So she came only after some months. She found me that a very big child. And then my grandfather, my grandmother had changed the name to Kabel. Okay. Yeah, meaning an offering. Mm -hmm. You see? So that's a background. That's a background. So I, uh, that's where I was born. And then only in, um, when I was, 12, we moved, I hear my mother tells me, even my father tells me, they started, Sibugian was built mm -hmm. in the late 60s, but then it was opened you know, for people to occupy mm -hmm. in, the, in the early 70s. Okay. So my mother was dating my father, but my father, Bethalsa and some other women. Okay. Yeah. And my father, but my, my mother, because from so the village. So the Dakuna too. Yes, okay. yes, yes. <laughs> Actually, I have my brothers who are same age as myself. Okay. You see that there. So my mother thought, they always think forward. You see, to say, my mother, what yet? They want to find out how to do it. Once you go to the school game, you can get into the school So my, my mother bought the house in the school game. Then took my father to come and stay with her in Sibuge. Mm -hmm. Remember that these guys are not, are not married. You see that they went to Josie Josie mm. Yeah. Then I started my high school. You know, Ekasi, I've always tell, told people that 
we ekasi you don't grow we don't grow parents actually don't have anything to do with you than the fact that you are their children so whenever they live in the mo in the morning your work in the final years lenina kona ntu edlalwa ipha ekasi kuthi izwipi yebona so everybody will go to school kuthi is school dalo izwipi then you get some money that money is your money for breakfast okay tenga ikota tenga khona khona irama ibe kuthi emajarini encinci nawe nepalo nevyana uthi kakuhle then ukwazi ukuze understand okay that's that's kwabazali xa bebuya in the evening that's what happens almost every day xa bebuya in the evening the father will have some sausage not maybe some 10 rand sausage under the armpit you understand mm -hmm. that's what will be cooked and then yourself you eat that i mean no they will give you a small piece you understand mm. but you see that's how we grew up so i tell people that election my the, the blankets that we used to use you find that you use almost um, four blankets but they are so thin that it's actually actually a one blanket mm -hmm. you get caught up in your own blanket yeah because the parents they use them when they have holes then they give them to you mm -hmm. but that's how we grew up and then i always tell people also that in the township when because when we were growing up there was that apartheid system you did not really understood you did not really understand it because you so were young you see that so you did not really understand what was happening i i remember only that i remember that the police used to come at night and they would take the father away mm -hmm. but you see because when you you were young you think that this is how things are supposed to be they will come with the, with a the torch at night then they'll take him away and then in the morning he'll be back mm -hmm. you see but you you do not know that it was a political situation okay even i remember 1976 when this happened the 1976 i was at a primary school at city so primary school in the township and when that happened we were sitting in the class and there was this kumbi those old kumbi mm -hmm. he just came into the yard and children started to running it was i still remember even today after all these years it was a re, it was a windy day that day june 16 and then people were smashing the windows and i myself and some guys called jani we we actually went through the window and went home there was chaos in the township my father and his friends there was a, a, a beer hall mm -hmm. they were pushing booze but my we so when we were young you think it's just black people have just been unruly what made me the 1976 to be so clear in my mind is that my sister the one who comes after me okay yeah inhaled a uh, tear gas was taken to the clinic I, i still remember that time okay but immediately after that all what we live in the township i were told at one point that my mother told us ah you guys must we are going to visit it was uh, going towards christmas of 19 79 mm. just because there was a lot happening in the township especially for the young boys you know the, the africans were killing everything. but we see ourselves we don't know that situation you see that we do not know that because we are young so my mother told us that we are going to go to so to visit so i remember tell us much detail around in uti bafet to tena say ama say el sutu because when you are young you think lesutu is too far you see okay maskala mm -hmm. So so Escolin so fundi le pa yes yes for real soon until started 3 okay yes okay so I said started 3 when I left okay yeah mbukele ufuna ukwazi why uzosuka evale Johannesburg to real soon because I think the parents mm -hmm. I now see when I was older that the parents realized that like so many parents realized mm -hmm. that is the situation the way it was in the township mm -hmm. was not good for us to grow up there okay you see that hey, I think that's the situation because even when i asked my mother later on she said she told me what i've just told you that i mean i could see that you guys are going to end up as jail beds or being killed mm, you see that's the okay. reason yeah, she took us that okay, side okay so many people left immediately remember after 1976 mm. but there the, 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 the is a lie that has been going around to say most people who left after 1976 went to exile, exile. for politics okay no mostly they, they they left because the situation was not so good and then when they got even to this exile mm -hmm. they were assimilated into families you see mm -hmm. like myself when i got there i still remember very well because when we left like i was saying when we left it was so nice the bar, the, there's a there's a bar, there's a bus that's called vtc mm -hmm. yeah 
So we left. But when we got to the border, fixed bay, we were asked that we should go to the back and then parents, you know, the, the people who were there, they put bags, you know, over us so that we are hidden. Okay. But when you are a child, you don't know why. You see, only when we are over that side in the Sultan, even then, we do not know why we, we had to, to be hidden. Because uh, especially we do not know that we are at the border. Mm -hmm. You see that then. So when we were that side, when you got to my mother's place, the, first, the second day, I was rented out okay. to a family. There's a system in Lesotho where young, young boys are rented out okay. to other families. So your work there is to, to plow, to plow. Everything that is done, and everything, mm. is your work. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm. So when I go there, when you get a child, a boy, to, as a rented boy, they, sh they, sh they should not go to school because they, they are paid for that. Mm. You see that? But you that our pie, what you come, what you come as because we see we are at Malumes place, you understand? What you learn that our pie, what? No, I think long time I'm going to call it Angafundi. As much as I know that he's a rented boy, but I'm going to make it a point that at least a fund. Mm -hmm. So there was a, in the city, there's a system is called Uku Changer. Okay. It means the boy with my cousin, on Monday, we are Hamba Nengom, the next school in. Tuesday, Nguye. Okay. Okay. So, throughout my primary school, that's how, that's what we're doing. Okay. You see that until I reached uh, Standard 7, which is in 1983. Okay. Unja Nguye Ngo, Suka, Ejo, Anespek, Bus, Sutu, Uyo Shala Gomyo, Mzi, Endu Nyanze Nisba, Yenzi Nduye Tili, Netili, Netili. You, do you know that when you come from a township, you are so excited to see a cow close to a cow. You see that? Mm. Like, you know, I was very excited, even myself, of course, I did not know that I was, I was, because I was not told that I'm being rented out. Mm. I thought mm. that was part of my family. Family, yeah. So the first few days, I was so excited to be going in Como. Mm. You understand? But the, the whole thing is, which I still remember even today, the boys, Zapaya, Abantani, because Nina Nisuga, Nisuga, a Houdi. You understand? Mm. Yeah. I remember they used to, uh, they asked us to, 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 to perform karate kicks for them. Mm. You see that? Eh? <laughs> yes, yes. They will say, Bruce Lee. Okay. And then Nati, because Suga, a Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They were looking at us and then they, they, we entertained the, themselves with us. You understand? Mm. But that cultural shock, you sooner or later get used to the situation there and be part of them. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always tell people about is that at that age, the books that I I started, I later on in my life taught at high schools, even at the university, I read them, the mm -hmm. same books. Okay. Yeah, because in Lesotho, there's a culture of reading. So, um, the say, oh, yeah, I'm funding. So, the white people are not. Yeah, but? Then who's a lie? Well, you see, you understand? Mm. So this one aspect of it that I, where I things that I gained in the suit, we we read a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that cultural shock, after some time you get used, and actually even forget that you are actually from Johannesburg. Okay. Kunja and Gengu West Colwin, Kaubane, Uskipa, Usuku, Unga, West Colwin. It's a system. Actually, uh, I assume like I always tell people that I don't. I never saw a reason of going to high to primary school, mm -hmm. apart from the fact that they go pay by a primary. Mm -hmm. That's what that's also my driving force, because there, there's nothing I, I I can remember even today that is that was exciting me to go to, to school. Mm -hmm. I, I we used to go there because they go pay by. There was a system in Lesotho where because they used the, the system the Greekers system they were using was a socialism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the guy was driving it. They pay by school in the car. Okay. So that's that's one thing about what I like even today when I go to the city was the f is the fact that the culture is different from ours. Mm. So the way you are brought up in the city is completely different. Mm -hmm. And that nine years that I spent there shaped me the person that I am today. Okay. Yeah. Must 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 move on. Uh primary. Yeah. Go funeke we a high school. school high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Kwa, high school when Zenjan. 
Yes. You see, I'm very happy that you're asking this question. When I was about to go to high school, the Omal Mekas, let us figure out what. Really, because the Bimangam turned to mom, and it because I'm going to land to a Mutana, Mutana, Waka, Tom, this is an on the other places. So, mama, then they gave mama a ronda. Was a flapan and don't a back. Okay. See, four popular ronda. Why Linga Sabins? Eh? Agasabins. Agasabins, mama. You understand? Yeah. So, Safa Paya. But the long markers, because the men are tandem, oh, my makers, when I tandem, oh, mama. Because you see, she was already dating my, 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 my Malou, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now she she thought, she realized that if oh sister Akisilapa was on the table to learn Malayam, so I'm there, I'm such line again, oh mama, you understand? Naughty. But then when she heard that la lam for a paya uta da pa befunundi, she said, "Eh, high school, what my land be paya? Do sala up, the land on yan. Can figure up and find the high school. The boza oh Malou me." Well, because the illustrate the system was that those who are going to, to, to high school they live later in the year. Mm -hmm. So I see about Baham. When I put you malume, malume, and I put you mama girl. I I see everybody sleeping. What is going to happen? Then my mother said, "Malume, I go ote. I got no sa om ye om da na wam ye eskolo." I could not believe it. I actually went to say to my 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 mother and ask my my mother, my my malume. When Malume told me on my face the mm. same thing. Mm. I was devastated, but my mother, the schools around there were very expensive. But there was a school in another area, it's called uh, Matukwan, but still same, same Liriba district. Okay. Which is a new school, very cheap. So my mother, you see, we be, uh, used to a DDL, you understand? To a base into a bond. Combo. Combo, so that the band buys a tank, you understand? So my mother, what DDL, what DDL, one penalty, yeah. And then buy us a yana band. Okay. And then she gave me, I still remember, 150. That's how they See, we're going, you're going to the distance of 65 kilometers. Mm. Then you go to a trunk, we hasn't done you getting trying to take the path. I'm going to go to the trunk. Okay. And we got there, then we were renting a room there. The room was 15 rand. Mm -hmm. I just always uh, uh, joke that my sister, one who comes after me, mom says, she always said, "Can't fool me, I'm fooling Papa. But when I want to Papa, I'm not Papa. Hello, used to to rent fifty rand. Used to default. Used to default. He rent the fifteen rand. You understand? Because you see, every month when we would have to pay that fifteen rand, my mother would not have it. Yeah, I would go home and still have to travel some sixty-five kilometers. When I get there, my mother, my mother, at the tail, at the tail, about bangers. Bangers, okay. Then on Sunday, my mother tells me, "Then I'm going to come and buy bangers. I'm going to come and buy bangers." So I need to get a twelve point five. I'm going twelve point five. Yeah, millimeter. Millimeter, okay. You better get up sixty-five kilometers again. But you see, I think in my blood, I've always had this uh, this thing of struggling, mm -hmm. hustling. I think I got it from my, my mother. From that point, when I was doing first year at the secondary school, which is mm -hmm. uh, three years, I never went, I would not go home because I knew that if I go home, I, there's nothing I was going to get. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. 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 So Okay. For for you know what? We are not it was not really a hassle because once it did a millimil, I I knew it soccer so much, it probably did so much that every place that I would arrive, go to an arm car, but I'm chin chin the other term chin tournament. So because of that, um, fun up a shop been turned out cool and at marriage and people. So a nigga fish oil and cooking oil. Okay. So once I need a cooking oil, if so, we have vocal and fun if fun and I pay room in six and get a book at in Savant. You must ambani, pina, chin, don't do your one. So say as what he said, he begs if I get back. He has for two months sorted out. Okay. So I never had to go home. I tell him, she has it for three years. I did that. There were four of us from the, my village who went there. I was the only one who came with that suitcase. Mm. 
the J certificate, 1986. It was, it was, you see, when, it, when I hear people talking about poverty, uh, and I say, you, maybe you don't understand because you see, what are you see, you think is poverty, it's actually just doing, mm -hmm. because you see, when you can imagine when you're young, and then you don't have anybody to support you. I tell this once at school at the university now, I say, no, don't, don't, I even tell them, they are shocked that, no, don't, don't even think about your parents or your brother and your sister. Mm. Do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I was, when I passed that day, JC, I, I just showed you the certificate, mm -hmm. 1986. I went home and my mother was there. So I had to go to do grade 11, which is form D and form E, that side. Mm -hmm. But there was no money. You see, I'm 16 and I see my mother every time I am It's I'm going to see it, yeah, And every time I go here, I got put on this sheep, especially sheep. Mm -hmm. And there's no, there's no papa, 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 and I'm 16. Dabalega, papa, I'm going to go Dabalega, I'm going to go to the town. I'm going to go to the the biggest industrial area. Okay. Second, second industrial area. Town. And I figured out that building company. What you come? You see, this is go JC. So long as got the one yes. But what, why do you want a job when you're so young? I said to him, No, the thing is that I said, I have that video now. Okay. Also, I, I go now around for motivational speaking and everything else. Mm. I said to them, I said, Mother, home all together. <laughs> What you know? Mother home altogether. That money. Then he understood it. But for him, sebe. Yeah, for him, sebe. What you oh, what you are young, I don't know how you're going to, but I can see that you have a problem. Mm. So I'm. What is what I'm going to do? I have a um, a storeroom. I'm going because I don't even have a place to stay anyway. Mm. So you're going to live, stay in the storeroom. Your work would be, you take the tools. The tools when okay. the the bricklayers and everyone have, would have worked. You clean them, take the storeroom, and sleep there. Okay. In the morning, you bring all the, the tools. You make it uh, a, a mortar for the attack, mm -hmm. for, for the brick layers, and uh, display the, the pack the, the bricks mm -hmm. for them. This is your work. So we are building a, a warehouse okay. and, a, and a big church. So I'm earning some 45 rand. Because I had asked the Amlungo team, can you please give my mother money? I think she, he, gave her, he gave her some 600. Mm -hmm. So I'll be working to pay that money. Okay. You understand? Okay. So that my mother will be right there back home. Right, Kai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what she did. That's what, the, that's what we did. So for all these years, you wake up in the morning. You know, Mr. Gaz, when you are, eight, you are 16, every morning you have to win the dark. Win the dark. Win the dark. Push the dark. When construction company, but Pia is to is careful since on who in a sense on who in a sixteen years. Yeah, and when sixteen years, these guys they are like they are like middle class, they brick layers. But quella J puzzle puzzle, but it taga it taga contra each other. Nega ear in one piece. If you can get a go, who taga bought. Okay. Yeah, once it toilet taga bought at his teen. Yes, two less things I want to find some rule. Once it's it's a roller. Sitting in a trophy, spend the same way. Oh, yeah, Fnegas is one piece of Fnegas Barbie as part. You do that when you have done with that, we are Okay, in some 10 minutes again, Jaga. This is going to happen the rest of your life. There are Tofika E, Tofika E, E, Lori in a cement. Well, a cement would be a little bit of Fnegas Hamby one. There's me and you. When we are not makarab. cement up. Don't you a understand? So you do that, you are 16 years. But when I was saying uh, 20, 20, 23, Something said to me, no, but you can't go on living like this. Mm. I can also say the man. So mm. the same people say, ne, give us some 30 rand. So it means that you can some 30 rand or something. You understand? Mm. Mm. Oh, you call it a You call it 5 rand. Okay. Yeah. You save it. Yeah. It's 30 rand. Yeah. 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 Yeah
before I continue with that, I want to mention the, the very day I bought in that storeroom, mm. the first uh, furniture. Mm. I was so happy. Take a sponge. Mm. Because then I was living, I was I used to sleep on a, in a wheelbarrow. Mm. You see that? Mm. So the first day I bought this sponge, I was so happy. Now let alone the, the day I bought two pots. Because even the day I bought a basin. Mm -hmm. Because I used to be a pump. Okay. So when I bought that, I, I used to look at this furniture. You see, I say, yeah, I have really made it. You see? Mm. So, but when I decided to go, I wanted to go to high school. To high school. Right? High school. Mm. I saved that money when I was 25. I went to a high school there. It's called the Emmanuel High School. It's an SDA, Seven Adventist School. Okay. When I got there, I... I mm. you know how many years? I'm 25. High, high school. I'm 25. Okay. Yeah, I'm 25. Okay. Yeah, I'm 25. <laughs> when I got there, I'm 25. Mm. Uh, the pastor then told me that, oh, I'm mm -hmm. but they are saving like a sap. Mm. And I'm going to talk to the, with the board. I'm going to talk with the board, and then if they allow you, I'm going to even to push it for, for you to that uh, you, they, they admit you. Mm -hmm. So I admitted them 20, 25 years. I'm mm -hmm. 16. I'm Okay. I'm they just don't know why they are there in the first place. Bang, all of we are told, I'm not you understand? Now, I always say those years, if you can ask God and say, can you tell me the prayers that God will pray for you, for you for these years, was that? Thank God every evening, Pablo to me pray. God, the fella in the tree. God, I don't think this means to Fella in the When I was 27, when it was metric, doing metric, I was shocked actually. You take us to here. Some girl called me from Soweto. She's called Maplele April. Called me, said, send me a message, actually, yeah, to say, your past metric. Aye. We are writing under Cambridge University. Mm -hmm. That's why I see my students are writing Cambridge University. I was shocked. Can you imagine my life? You understand? Now, myself, I have a metric. Mm -hmm. I could not believe it. So, when I heard that I had metric, now I passed metric. I knew that from now on, I and fully into it, man, no from that time. But when, I, because of my mother, when we were struggling at home, my mother always took us to church. Because of that fact, the kule, the tanda, and just man, no Even the things that I do even today are the things I do because of the mundo okola You understand? Okay, mm -hmm. e, e, wa, wa, wa also been a construction company, mm -hmm. e, wa save Mali, wa be high school, yeah. many certificates are going to metric. Yeah, who's going to go to the matuna after a e, many certificate? Funny enough, I went to a seminar. Mm -hmm. Seminary is actually a, a university to train Catholic priests. Okay, so I went to um, St. Joseph's uh, Spiritual Institute. In Kwazulu-Natal. Okay. Started my first in the country church. You start first, what they call. Oh, Mwilel Sutungo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mwilel Sutungo. Okay. 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 Teach you about the congregation that you have joined. Mm. There are different congregations in the country church. For myself, I, I joined Marine Hillers. You see? So they teach you about Marine Hill and everything. The second year is what is called novitiate. Mm -hmm. It means now they are looking now at the, your spiritual side mm. of everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you finish that, then you have to go to the seminary to do some two years of, of, of philosophy mm -hmm. and some three years of theology. Okay. Yeah. Depending on what you want to become, okay. if you want to become a brother, then in the country you can become, you can train, you can tra be trained to be a priest or a brother. So myself, I choose, I chose brotherhood. Okay. Myself. So it means I was there only for philosophy. Mm. So when I finished philosophy, then I in the in the culture after some years, you get what is called final vows. It means you commit yourself that I'm going to be here 
for a longer time. Mm -hmm. So I took my final vows after some four years, and then I was in the. I, I remember that I did my my first pastoral work at Kala. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's that, that's the period that I spent those years. Then almost uh, thirteen years in the country church as a brother. You see, from the, all the initial stages and everything else. Mm -hmm. But in twenty in twenty uh, two o oh, yeah two o oh, one. Yeah, I remember in 2001, then my mother passed on. The very woman that struggled with me all these mm. years passed mm. away. Mm. I, I've never been so hurt because I remember that when I went home, uh, to because my, my brother, the one who also passed away, when he called me, he said, he just said, hey, check us. Mama was a lady. Like I said, yeah. Then he dropped the phone. Now I dropped the phone. Mm -hmm. I could not believe. So I was never so devastated. But then I realized from that point that I needed to live this kind of religious life mm -hmm. and go to live a secular life, just on that life like everybody else. Because then if my mother is secular, it means there's no one who's going to look after the family. Mm -hmm. So then I left. Then I came to, to I was teaching at, the, at Kanyisa. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was teaching at Kanyisa. Then I got a, an opportunity to teach, uh, to be a tutor at 2201. Okay. English department. You know, when I tell this, the ones that now I'm in charge of, to say I was there two times, when you're a tutor, there's a stage where they are right now, you'll be required to do almost everything without even pay. I did that a lot. You mark, you attend classes and everything else. Uh, you get a little money. Sometimes you don't get anything. Mm. But when you have my background, you actually you're even shocked that you're now a tutor, you understand, mm -hmm. at the university. You see, and that gives you a drive. Until there was a, I think 204, 205, there was a, a, an introduction of extended program that we have now. Mm. It used to be there before. So Ms. Matthews was a HOD in the, in the uh, university. Yeah, at the, at, the, at the BSc department. Okay. She then came to the English department and said they wanted someone who could teach English in the, in the BSc department. So that's how I went to to BSc. Mm -hmm. I want you not to miss the fact that the guy who's going to be now a lecturer in the BSc is the same guy that used to preach in the river okay. Same guy. And it is the same guy of this 10, of eight years. You understand? It's the same person. Mm. Yeah, so you will see when you look at that guy, when he looks at himself also, he's actually shocked. He himself is shocked now. He's, he's actually standing in front of the student and then at the university, mm. same guy. Because at age 25, I, I did not even have a metric. At age 25. So from that point, I then came to, to work at a CLTD. Okay. I remember when I came to CLTD, I always credit to Mr. Dwai, who was the director by then. He taught me everything that I know about higher education. Just as a pure student, he said, he told me, Madonna, this is from Sigisig. Madonna, when was a mamela, a mamela in the And then he taught me, like a student, you know, pal coordination, you know, from uh, recruitment, from selection, from monitoring everything. And then after he, he taught me that for from four, I was like, a, even, you know, he used to give me work as if I'm a student. You say, okay, I've given you these documents for uh, agreement, uh, agreement. So at the end of the week, you say, give me what you think about that. So I would have to give me feedback all the time. So that made me to have a, a, a clear draft of a PAL coordination. Now, but this is where we are at now. When I arrived there in 2010, there were young guys, young girls. My work is just to monitor. Okay. That they are, they are teaching the students, they are helping the students in the, in the, in the, in the, in the lecture halls. But then I looked at these young boys and young girls, you know, because I interact with them all the time. Mm -hmm. I could see that they have more qualities than what we have, but what we expected from them. And I decided, I remember the first guy, it was 2010, I decided to say, let me just take one of these guys to be close to me. Okay. And then mentor him. I, this this guy is called uh, Melikayam mm -hmm. He was very he was a very shy guy, but I could see with him. He had the potential. 
there's a first first guy that I started with, apart from uh, the one who's called uh, uh, Andy Lemma Jack. Mm -hmm. I taught him in the first year um, uh, uh, law. And then I remember I said to people in the class, you always, everybody remembers that, I said, guys, look at this guy in five years' time. But by saying that, I think he put pressure on him. Mm -hmm. If you remember him, because of that, because these guys, I remember that, I, I realized that most of these guys, we could groom them to be more than what they, think, they thought they could be if we give them a platform. Mm -hmm. So I would, whenever I have a big functions, I would let them talk. You see, I remember that the military used to be very shy. But I would force him to talk. But if you look at him now, how far he has gone because of that platform. Mm -hmm. It is because the reason why I'm doing that is because we're never giving a platform ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I go out of my way. So many of them now talk about me. It's because then they ask me, Mr. Maduna, why are you doing this? And I say to them, you know what, guys, is that that I can't tell you, I can't tell you my background, mm -hmm. whatever happened. I use this as a, because I have a platform now, I give you guys, I want you guys to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's where we are at now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bukele Kaya was Vela Gest, Nokola Kunina, Gabielo Maduna, Bambiza, KB, Uzala Ke, Quelia La Sesoeto, Eval, Sibukeng, Bayamas, Nakulitala, Wawelem, Zanza Free, Kangetresha, Lokal Kalulo, Ewele La Kekuliz, or La Selsu, to go to Kewebuya. Uko anguena numfundi singo kwenye la balisanga yao bizinzi la zosa mubo mwezo waza kwenye university asa walta se suluklapo asa benza kona uzoto kango kula kala la kwa teaching and learning kula pono mfumana kona simaz nono amabalwa ke amnandi amabalwa ke kanga belula mepshungu kuli ni kala mr matuna na ubeki le kusuke le kuzalun kwa kwa wate wamga kango kumshambi zindoni okunwa se benzele. Apebomin bako kwae umbukele kaya anga funda ndoni. Yeah, you know what, Mishagas, I've always said, one thing that my mother taught me, mm. or taught us, me and my sister, was not to have any relationship with money. I don't have any relationship with money. Mm -hmm. That's why I started Wichin Tournament. That's why I started uh, Lift Me Up Foundation. So if you look at Michin Tournament, I take 30,000. It has been running almost, it's a six year now running. I take 30,000, my 30,000 each year. I give this, this, this 30,000 to soccer teams to play. Mm. And because I'm more concerned about Abandon, so that they can get sponsorship in a sense to go to universities, to mm. go to schools. So it, a winning team there, then we go to the village, city, Pabasketele, Abandon, Abang, go right, Abasalabang, Emizabang, go right. And the Bapa Tele School, you understand? So we've been doing that for six years now. It's one thing I, I see the problem, the challenge that we have, that I have learned throughout the years that, you see, if in the Abantuan is now, but like, like everybody, is, even if they are not Abantuan, there is just too much liking of money. And then this money thing in the head of everybody, that one makes them to mess up almost everything. You see, I, I think. The, that what is, I, I mean, I've learned throughout the years that, you know what, we work, we get whatever we can get, and we should be happy with that. Mm. Yeah, myself, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Utetange tournament, Ozen's Leo, Kora Kepifo, Sifig, and Yafuna Mshambi, Usitetange tournament, Lingua Dos Baleum Zegelo, and Funes Kalim Shambi, Nankum Tana, Usekayeni. Uh, akana bazaar ba nomu patale ele skolu indi funa amazwe wog motivator la mdana mshambi angenza njani you see i meet because i am um, i like i pay almost for for almost i mean so many people then approach me you know saying that and then i can i've always said to the young ones especially about cool engineering um, and everything try to get some help mm. because you see if you sit there and then you don't say anything that nobody's going to, is going to know that you have a situation. You understand? Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you there are some boys here at school. In, in the, in the mall, every 15 holiday, I lose some 2,000. I give each one of them uh, 500. It's been like for third year now. Because this, this used to be my past. These guys used to be my past. And mm -hmm. I would know these guys' personal, personal situations. Then I say, they are like friends. They are now friends because then the bad money some now. Mm. That guy, you know what? We we'll make a fun eye. Must see solve the lane. You want mm. now each month I will give you five hundred. Mm -hmm. In a sense, solve the lane because now they are fine. You understand? 
So na, I would like that, especially those of us who do to ask us on Nagi, Magapagami, have some of money in it. Because you see, if if you don't say, like, here where I am, that like, investing, would demand them to high school and Bonia so called Mudia Monica so called because they are girls so called about. Not demand I, but I got it. Uti and only men are Uti about was out in understand that, but you have your own situation. So I would like that the Abantu, especially the young ones, must talk. Okay. Ucho ke ubi ste maduna uba sutla lekaya ambozama na imetrik ukalena twenty five years mese mtala kakuulu ungati wenuselekai na sendi mtala ngokubana ngapinde le school win kunjalo mr matun siakubeka ne 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 cheni yobomba ko upale ingwati zimbini maskala ingwati ukala kula ingwati ingandoni yeah the, the, this book is called mlebuing mm -hmm. The little history about this book is that when I was training to be a priest mm. at the, what, the, second, the second year of priesthood, I was at Marine Hill Monastery in Pan Town. Okay. So there, after, in the morning, there's always your, your spiritual side. Mm. But in the afternoon, there's not, not, not much. So I sat down to write this Mulewing. Mulewing mm. is about a girl who was from a village, mm -hmm. raised by their parents very well, very from a very respected family. M. Senyani. Wongom Dem Tande, she was very clever. Why you found a high school called Pa El Sot? But in a high school, then what the banana ma cherry as a town. So Bam Tata again, Bamba Nai. But my Aga Yubonet down, as you get us well, let's look it down, you understand? But the power is down what the man um, um, for Pagu to tease a Pagu and want. Mm. Lamfo, he was a journalist in the tale, ne? but the Pangela was him Tata, but the Pangela El Sutu Emase. Okay. Lamfo, what come visa game um liberty? Usa was our pendulum tat. Funu pendulum labouring, you boy. What pendulum labour one from Baha and Baza upper A, the Sala upper mirrors. Okay. If you are drawing pictures, Baza's born. Okay. 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 This book because I've 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 worked with young people the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Is in an, an advice to the young people, especially beautiful girls, mm. to be very careful with their lives because yeah. you see this beauty. We have seen it. I mean, we've been here for years. Mm. We have seen these beautiful girls and um, messing up their lives because they think I'm beautiful. Mm. So that I think that's a very strong message behind this. To say, be very careful when you're a girl. Okay. Not your girl, a girl, a girl, a girl, a girl, a KB, a Gabelo, Maduna, a Mulew Hank, a Kamaling, a Leo. If you want to get I actually, this book we can buy it from myself. Okay. Yeah, I think you know the political situation of publishers and everything else. So I get publishers, mm -hmm. but I sell it myself than, than to, to put it in the libraries and everything else because then it means the money does, does not. Particular, I mean, portion of money that doesn't come to me. Okay. But in this case, everything from this book comes to me. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, this book is very popular. I think uh, I had mentioned that in Lesotho, it was read on a radio station oh. last year in October. They read it last year, and then the, when the whole nation in Lesotho were up in arms. They really liked it mm -hmm. so much that. Last month it was read again. Oh. The people at the radio station called me to say, "Hey, abantu bafunde ngwa difundwe futi, but as ngwa difundo apa masi kesi tiga ngwing." So it, it just ended again last month. Okay. Yeah, it, eh. it, it re, did very well. Yeah. Okay. And the lapa eskule ni ire part se sutu vision is used by the investors. Yes. Oh. Yeah, in the language part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kona sutu vision kona iskosa vision masilule ngwa tesmini. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure that I should the way the way it ended. Mm. Yeah, but you see, as writers, we wait to make manifest. Okay. You see that um, as soon as we have made enough money, then you can think about the the next the next book. I've always said the next book that I'm going to write is going to be about res life. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Eh ikhona into yenzayo into esinothi feedback kwelinye icala kwapha kwilizwe laselusuthu eh tournament. Yes. Ndifune usazise ngayo muchini tournament. Into ni muchini tournament. I have just mentioned that my name my soccer name is Muchini. Oh. Yes, yes. I I you can't believe if you look at me now that I used to be a superstar. Yeah, <laughs> superstar. You see that there. Eh? So then uh, because of my background mm. I realized in the villages and everything, everybody is stuck. Especially young people are stuck. Mm -hmm. And I live in South Africa. And mm -hmm. then here, we, the, we have, the young people have more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I decided, no, let me just take my money, start machine tournament. Mm -hmm. And then the whole objective is to give bursaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the villages, for the young people in the villages. You understand? Mm. That's the whole idea behind the whole thing. Okay. So I started that machine tournament that is so popular now. That side, I remember that in the the T-shirt, that the machine tournament. There's a guy who's a who's a Peter Mishiman, Mishiman of that place. Oh, yeah, so yeah, he's okay. he's always wearing that. You told me that there is no tournament as yourself in this country. Mm. Yeah, because mm. you see, we are not concentrating on the on the on the soccer itself. It's a community upliftment. Is support yes. from the government or something mm. I have not. I get support from individuals okay remember that when you are from outside when you come in people are worried about their own positions mm. you understand mm. they because they are doing things that they were supposed to be doing, especially politicians mm -hmm. they are they're supposed to be doing that but they're not doing it and then when there's someone who's doing it normally people don't like it mm. but they, i've been around too long that i know this kind of dynamics mm. Okay. Um, plans to go into this fun machine up in South Africa. Can you help us with that? Because Linda, how do you go? Yeah, you see, we have been talking with Mr. Mr. Dugus or something. What is his name? Yeah, mm -hmm. but anyway, he's the one who's in charge Tony of. Tony Dugus. Yes, okay. yes, yes. We've been talking with him actually about starting something as as same as I'm doing in Lesotho. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, we. You know, I should mention that we started the machine tournament in Lesotho, even the soccer, ladies' soccer tournament. Mm -hmm. the, in the village, it was the first time they were like, you see, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, but two of, we have two now who are play, playing professional in Lesotho. Okay. Girls from that machine tournament. Wow. Who are playing uh, professional now. Mm. You see that? Eh? So, you see, this is more than, than playing soccer. It's, it's uplifting developing people in the villages because myself i'm more concerned about life in the villages mm. you see mm. yeah so we have been talking with him that we should start something but you see machine tournament the way it is in this proper planning i told him that if we have to do something like that it must be properly planned mm -hmm. because you see a tournament of that nature we need that when we start it everybody can join and then we get the results mm -hmm. and the result is that we want some few of them to go professional. Okay. Mm -hmm. Una two about Puma Kimuchin tournament. Yes. About yes. the professional. Professional that side. Okay. Uteta Nugba, Eona, a aim, Yoba Wenzel Amuchin, Gugba Banya Bafumani Passaris. Yes. Bagwazu Gueskolin. How many of them? SBS for men. Now it's eight now. Okay. Yeah, it's eight now. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This year. And then I see even the last, the first one, you know. I, I think normally this thing of it's abandoned, it's just like a mm. I think even the students at the, at the university will tell you, I can organize, I can go all out for a, a student to get admitted at the university. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they are admitted, then I forget about them. I don't even talk to them. Mm -hmm. Then I will see maybe on Facebook, someone says, thank you, Mr. Madonna. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm graduating because of you. Mm -hmm. And then last year, then I lose this. And I checked, and I remember this girl. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember, oh yeah, I remember this girl. There were two of them. You see that they had. So even in in Lesotho, there is a girl now who is now about to finish a university. Mm -hmm. She's playing for Rovers, which is a that side is a professional side. Okay. She's telling me that can you imagine, Mr. Madonna, if you don't come into my life? Mm. You see, but most of them you will help, and then you just let them go. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what I'm a very prayer prayerful person. I pray a lot. So myself, I just want them to, to succeed. Even the ones that I have at the university, I, my, my aim is just to get them to succeed, and that should be enough. 
Wow. Bukele ka is nokola kunye no KP Kabelo Maduna in Zalwane as a Johannes Peka Houteng, eh Uzalesi Bukeng, Kufundi Leval, Wawela, eh Genga Mfazo Sem Sans Africa, Koda ke Waenga Ofunda politics, sikulizo la sel suit lapo, a fundel kulu corner, easy beka and gengulo, kabelo matuna ngo kukik university as well tasasolo, upalile nwati, eh ez fanana lena gambi uchilo ke utezia fwaneka kuye wenam du funek pofke funakbeka nge una ngwatile uya ifunda ini e ipalo nge sutu ikuwa paliwe nange sikosa nga tibeka nge ngomela na eka kubeka nge ufuna ngwatile Mr. Matuna e utuwa nge sebele tu sell song nge sukla na mshanji semule la kakulu e see wise media nge kubanawe na mshanji thank you very much actually i want to specifically thank you the wise media and everybody involved because when i talked to you when you guys came to me about this i was very excited because I I always felt that this 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 story should be heard. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you very much. I really really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.